Hi there, Mark here again, got Alf on the camera. Hello. We've uh, taken this Acom's receiver, uh, AM receiver, out of uh, his Neo Scorcher because they're all snapped off. Now we have tried to extend this by attaching another piece of wire on, but the car still cuts out when you go further than about 10 metres away from the transmitter. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and replace this wire in the receiver with the new wire that I've got. It's about the same diameter, I think it's about half a millimetre, um, the conductor in there. And you hear somewhere, usually thinner wires perform better, don't I they? I think some people have said that thinner wires work better, so yeah. we're going to try and solder that into here. So the first thing we're going to do is take this thing apart. I think it's just two screws on the back there. And it's been used off-road, as you can see. <laughs> There's lots of muck and dirt in there, so let's have a look inside. Okay, there you go. Oh, bit of muck in there, isn't there? A lot of muck in there, so I don't know how that's got in. It's a, the cable's plugged in and the, the, the chip in place, but basically, yeah. Do you reckon that could have disrupted anything? No, I doubt it very much. You can see where the wire's going there, so we need to find where that's soldered. We just remove this little rubber grommet, we'll put that on the the new bit of wire for the aerial. We need to get this out now. Okay so I think we can just pull the wire that's it the circuit board oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> that's not good. Okay <laughs> well you can you can tell that we've never cleaned this. I wasn't expecting that so no. I've got a little brush on me. You reckon that actually that could have done something to it? That it? might have been affecting it, but uh, yes, yeah, so I think it's a good job of taking it apart. <laughs> so just give it a quick brush off. Yeah. In fact, it's not the sort of thing you usually think you clean off, is it? Not really, no. But I suppose it, it must happen to all receivers because if you're running them off road, it's been in the body of the car there. Yeah. Okay, it's been a couple of years it's been running, but hey. You can get dustproof ones, can't you? I think you can get dustproof sort or of waterproof ones, but you can see there. Can you zoom in on that, Alf? What I need to do now is to unsolder. Not quite focused. Have you got that? Yeah, no, it's focused. So what we need to do is get the trusty soldering iron. Just clean that off a bit. Again with a damp sponge. Just tin it up with a bit of solder. You know, I think when we put it back together, we better tape around the edges to try and make it a bit more dustproof. You can try and seal it up a little bit here, so yeah. if get in there and just heat that up and off it comes. There you go. So now we'll get the new piece of wire. I need to do it's a bit too long in it. We'll just get the right length after I'll just cut it a little bit too long. Yeah. On purpose. So if we just remove a bit of the shield here. Not quite focused. Okay. Twist the wire. Okay, I'll just put a bit of solder onto that and tin that in up. Oops. Okay, I've just been leaving it running for now. Okay. Can you focus in on that there? Yeah. Nicely tin so mm -hmm. need to connect that onto there. It's a bit fiddly. It is fiddly. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That should do the job. So look. Yeah, that's a good take long to cool, does it? No, it only takes a few seconds when you take the soldering on away. So, yeah, that's a good connection on there. All we need to do now is put it back together. Okay, so we've got a little rubber crumb. We'll put that back over the cable. What does that do then? It just stops the wire from breaking where it's passing through the plastic case look. Ah, uh, yeah. So, 
stick that in here again. A bit fiddly. Okay, so we've got the grommet in there. All we've got to do is put the case back on. Like so. Do the screws up. And hopefully now the receiver <laughs> will work with this new aerial on and we won't be losing connection to the car after 10 meters. Okay, thanks for watching. See ya.